Do you know how many people in an office would be more productive if distractions were reduced? Do you know how much percentage stress levels are reduced because of good indoor acoustics? Just a few questions where you will get answers to during this session. But first, let's get into the subject of a workspace environment, the office. For that, we go back in time to ancient Rome. Here you see a group of people talking about politics, law, trade, and the location where they had these meetings was called the officium. You really had to focus to what the other person was saying in this room because of the bad acoustic environment. But with time, that changed. This is the Johnson Wax Administration Building designed by famous architect Frank Lloyd Wright in 1960. This office, he wanted to focus more on the indoor environment, mostly because of the use of daylight, but also acoustics with the attention on the layout. The desks are placed with quite some space in between, and a lot of storage cabinets were put there to block the sound waves. And all the managers, they had their private office at the first floor. But office noise, it's not a new discussion. It's already going on for years, as you can see in this article from 1968. Would you let your daughter work in an open plan? Well, sort of the same question popped up nowadays. Office noise is still a everyday problem. You can go on the internet and find articles like this about sound, noise and acoustics and how it can have a huge impact on us as human beings. But still with the design of an office, we want it to look good rather than that it sounds good too. Like this co-working office in Prague, for example. A lot of hard, smooth surfaces and materials used that will reflect all the sound waves, which negatively impacts the indoor acoustic environment. And because of bad acoustics, you can have up to 66% decrease of productivity. This is why 78% is negatively influenced by noise at their workplace. And on an average, one hour per day is wasted because of conversational distractions. And these distractions are mostly created by ourselves when we communicate. As you can see, almost 80% is disturbed when we talk with a colleague or on the phone. For sure, you will recognize the complaints that you have because of noise and bad workplace acoustics. And it all comes back to one thing, our health. So what do we do? We try to find a quieter space or we put on headphones. But you can put them on, but you can still hear speech. And that's because in the frequency range of speech, headphones are less effective. Here you see the results from a research on how do we spend our time at work, alone or with colleagues. And if we do it alone, mostly we are interrupted. So as you can see, it's all kinds of everything. Creating the best acoustic environment depends on what we are doing. This is what we call the four C's, contemplation, collaboration, communication and concentration. And every one of them has its own acoustic requirements. Here you see an office space from the Netherlands where they try to create the right balance for those four C's. Really good indoor acoustic environment. Different, good sound insulated meeting rooms, carpet on the floor to reduce impact sound, and a very high sound absorbing ceiling to lower the noise levels and the reverberation time. And because of this improved acoustic environment, you can have up to 27% reduction in stress levels. It doesn't always have to look like a standard office. You can have design freedom if you want and create this urban design. For example, this office in Wrocław, Poland. Workspace environment with less noise, you make fewer mistakes you are more creative and also more productive. But there is no one-size-fits-all solution for offices. 
there are many things to consider when designing an office. Not only the type of work, but also the people. Are they introvert or extrovert, a baby boomer or a millennial? Then there is the space itself, the size, the shape, the office layout. It all relates to each other. And then we also still we have to take into account the acoustic parameters. So everything together is quite challenging. And we as Rockfun can help you with a lot of these challenges. This session, I want to give you something to think about. A phrase from a poem from the British poet John Clare. Crowded places, I shunned them as noises too rude and fled to the silence of sweet solitude. I hope that you enjoyed this session, that you learned something. If you still have any questions, just reach out to me. You can see my email address here or to one of my local colleagues. Thank you very much for your attention. Until next time.